Alright, what's going on YouTube? We're back with another episode in the FPS series. It's the first episode in the FPS series that's been for like probably a solid month. And if you didn't catch the RPG, RPG, series, RPG episode uh, from the Unreal Engine RPG series that came out before this, uh, and you didn't hear that explanation, I'll explain it here. I have had extreme troubles with my OS, my op, my um, uh, my computer uh, crashing, not being able to even record an episode or work less than, uh, I haven't even been able to work more than 30 minutes on Unreal Engine without it crashing. Uh, so I finally got a Windows 7 reinstalled on a new hard drive, uh, that's all sorted out, so we're back to work. Um, so. It's been a while, so if some stuff has slipped my brain from what we have done and what we haven't done, I am very sorry. But I will try to pick up right where we left off. And I don't exactly remember if I if someone had asked me what, what the next episode would be, and I answered that. If I did, and this is not what it is, I am extremely sorry. Because, like I said, a lot has happened, and I definitely have forgotten... Uh, stuff from the RPG series, so I don't think this is going to be any exception. So, this episode is going to be something very, very prevalent that a lot of you have had issues with and complained about, and rightfully so. And that is being able to shoot while reloading. So let me just display what I'm talking about here, if you don't understand. So, say I reload, right? Obviously we don't have any bullets, so I can't do it there. But I'm just going to shoot a little bit. And here you can see the bullets. I'm going to reload. But I still get to shoot while I'm reloading, and the bullets still drop. And yes, the projectiles are still shooting. Well, A, that's not even remotely realistic, and B, that's retarded. We don't want that. Because in some games, I know it's a strategy to just press the trigger uh, while reloading, and then the second you're done reloading, it just starts firing again for you. So we're going to fix that very, very easily here. And that's just with changing some variables and letting certain things uh, go or not go via a branch. So let's open up our weapon branch. Our weapon base, sorry. Um, and we need to make it... Jeez, this place is a mess. Holy crap, who did this? <laughs> um, we need to uh, do a... We, we need to disable can fire. So let's see, I should have reload somewhere here um, reload should be a variable I'm sorry if you can hear the noise in the background um, but I am legitimately just trying to find reload right now because this is a complete mess okay let's find references no results found huh then how the heck are we reloading I know check ammo is a thing. Okay, so that's 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 a thing, right? And oh, reload function. There we go. Okay. Uh, so it's not even a trigger. It's this. So reload function is called, and we need to set reload to true. And. After that, we're going to set reload, uh, no, sorry, we don't want to do it here, because I forget, we handle that on our player, I'm stupid, but we will want to, we will want to keep this, this spawn actor right here, so let's actually go to our character, like I said, I've, I've forgotten a lot where stuff is, but I, they, I'm picking up the pieces and a lot is being recognized, so reloading right here. So, reloading is true. We need to delay, uh, or it's already delayed, so we need to actually trigger uh, when the, um, when it's going, to, sorry, when we're going to be able to fire or not. So since we already have a function here called reloading, um, but it's not actually triggered from our equipped weapon, we're going to actually call the one from our equipped weapon, which will call us which will call for us to expand this a little bit more than it already is. So we're going to expand that, and I believe I believe that should be good. Um, so let's let's expand this out, and I want to set reload to true. 
here. So we'll just make use of a variable that we already have. So set reload to true. So the duration, delay, the reload function, that's going to happen. And then after that delay, we're going to uh, let's get this. And we're going to set reload to false. So I'm going to save everything up there with control shift s. By the way, I have converted uh, all my YouTube series projects uh, to one point or 4.14 if you're wondering. I did not mention that in the RPG series if you do follow that series, but this is up to 1.14. All I did, if you want to know how I did it, because this I believe I was running this on 1.12, uh, 4.12, sorry. Uh, if you just want to know, I just uh, uh, opened 4.14, uh, selected the this project and told it to convert in place with advanced options. Um, okay, so now what we want to do is, geez, there is a lot of stuff here, but we're just going, holy crap, I'm going to just grab this stuff and move it back a bit because we're going to need area room for the branch. So... Holy crap, cheese, um, branch. So if re, get reload. So if reload is true, we're not gonna do anything, but if reload is false, then we can go right on ahead. So that also crashed my engine. Um, that's because I'm very used to that option being put in a different place. So I'm going to be right back. <laughs> this is, geez, second episode in a row. That has crashed my engine. I will be right back with uh, right back where we were. All right, so uh, from gee, sorry, I was on the wrong page. From the looks of things, we didn't lose anything. So all we really have to do over here, geez, because yes, our equipped weapon reload stuff, that's all good and fine and dandy. So really all we have to do is just uh, set up our branch again, which of course isn't the most difficult thing in the world. It's actually probably the easiest thing in this entire thing. So we're just gonna branch. Can't spell, sorry, geez. Once again, okay, reload. False. And I selected all output nodes, which there's a lot of stuff. So I'm I'm used to the break link to spawn. I'm I'm used to the break link thing being at the first one. Uh, so I don't know if there's a way to change the order of those. If you do know of a way to change the order of that stuff, please tell me because I can use it. But anyways, break link. So if reloading's true, we're not going to do anything. If reloading is if we're not reloading, or as in if reloading is false, then we're going to spawn those bolts. Then we're going to compile. Save everything up, and let's try to shoot while we reload. I'm gonna pick up our gun, I'm gonna reload. And we're gonna shoot, and we're gonna reload, and it's gonna stop us, I'm gonna keep shooting, and that. Now, of course, the recoil, that's a bug that I still haven't fixed to where even if we don't have ammo, there is recoil. Obviously, as you can see, I'm still shooting and there's recoil, but oh, great, that's fixed, and you can still use that little, as long as you press and hold after you're done, if if you're firing before you're reloading and you just keep pressing uh, the fire button during the reload, once you're done reloading, it will still, uh, well, it'll still, excuse me, keep reloading. So that's that bug fixed and hopefully it works for all of you. But of course, if it doesn't, exact, that's exactly what I'm here, so, here for. So if you have any issues with any of this, please put it in the comment and just put comments below and I will do my absolute best to help you. Anyways, I really hope you've enjoyed this. I'm super glad to be back and recording videos again and putting tutorials up again. We're going to get try to get right back into the flow of things of at least two to three episodes a week, maybe more. I will see what I can do, but that's about it for this episode. Please leave suggestions for what you would like to see in future episodes, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.